we're going to do a project on unity. Um, and unity goes hand in hand with variety. So first I'm going to look at some pictures to kind of show what unity means. Unity is when all the parts of the artwork are working together. Or if just a section of your artwork is unity, then those parts are working together. Okay? So, for example, I've got this little bunny here. This picture has unity of color. All these colors are analogous. They're kind of neighbor colors on the color wheel. We've got purple, pink, red. And those all kind of work together. This bunny does not have unity of color. He's wild all out there. And that doesn't mean one's better than the other. So remember, our principles are how we organize our artwork. Using a principle or not using a principle doesn't make it good or bad. It's just a choice you make about your art. So if you want unity, then you're going to think about colors that look good together through being uh, neighbor colors or maybe complementary colors. If you want it to look out there and vibrant and wild, maybe you can say, I don't want color unity. So we can see here the variety versus the unity in color. You could also have variety versus unity. So I've got two characters here and I've got a variety of shapes on this character and I've got kind of a unity of shapes in this character. This character is all triangles and pointy and this character just has random shapes. The colors are exactly the same so they match on both sides but you can definitely see a different feel for characters because this one is unified. It all kind of makes sense together and this one is contrasting and has variety and it's kind of weird and different and off the wall. So you can have a unity of the shapes in your picture. Hello. Thank you. So then I've got these cute little guys. These all have the same art style. They're just like little nub guys. Super cute. What if I don't have a unity of art style? <laughs> so you can choose to have things non-unified for like effect. Like we said, emphasis in contrast, contrast differences. So when you don't have things unified, you're going to have more contrasts. So these are very not unified in style and you can make do that for comedic effect, right? You can have different styles in the same piece of art to make them stand out or funny or silly. And so we can have unity of style versus variety of style. And there we have unity of theme and pattern. And here we have little bit of variety. So unity is all the parts of an artwork or some parts of the artwork working together and variety is mixing in contrast and emphasis. Um, and there's not really a right way or a wrong way. You can have unity or no unity and it changes the look of your picture. So think about that. So we're going to make a unity picture kind of close to this sort of pattern thing. But we're going to make like a little town. So I'm going to start by making uh, upside down V's a few to have kind of a roof feel. And then I'll go straight down for the side of my building. And because we are not necessarily sticking to straight unity, we can throw in a little bit of variety. I'm going to make one a little taller. Spice it up a little bit. Maybe one here a little shorter. Okay, so we're going to fill this page with these sort of house shapes. Where should I put the next one? I need to make this one tall.
and then eventually they're just going to go off the top of the page. You won't even be able to see the roof anymore. Okay. So now the fun part of deciding where to unify and where to add variety in the little details. So we're going to put like windows on each building. And do we want to unify the shapes of every window being just a square or rectangle? Same number or different numbers. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'll have some a little different. But I'm still trying to keep some unity. So some of them will be the same. And some of them will be different. And we'll see kind of how the unity and the variety work together there. Maybe one long one. See, there's a variety that's different. So you can see I started throwing in details like doors and roofs to unify some of the buildings and contrast some of them a little bit. And so we get this kind of overall unity of the, the neighborhood we're drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and color it. And I'm going to be thinking about if I want to have some of the buildings emphasized, if I want to have it unified. I think I'll keep the windows all unified and maybe have some uh, some contrast in the house coloring. So we'll see. Okay. So this picture has unity of building shape and it has unity of color of windows. Then all the Variety comes from the different colored buildings and the uh, different shapes and heights of the buildings and the doors and the windows. So this is going to be our Unity project, making a colorful neighborhood.